reports of looting. For more on that, we're going to go right out live to Channel 2's Rob Hackford. Hey, Rob. Yeah, hey, Lauren. We're out on Main Street in Buffalo right now where we've seen a couple cases of this looting, which is really unfortunate post the blizzard with the storm settling down, cleanup happening now. These cases have been popping up, and Buffalo police, they're trying to t pay attention to them, but still have to work on all snow clearing and other responsibilities. Now, our Dave McKinley, we're going to take some video here. He was flagged down earlier today by someone at Genesee and Zenner, where people were actually seen walking away from a family dollar there with garbage bags full of items after that store had been break broken into. The door was wide open. There's one example of this impact of looting. Uh, walking along Main Street as well today, I saw there was an auto repair shop that had the front window busted in and a Dollar General not far from West Ferry Street. They also had the front door broken in and food and other items were thrown around. Uh, Camellia's, it was another store that was broken into and had their cash register busted open. The Co-owner Patrick said that there weren't, wasn't any money in it, but he's disappointed to see that in a lot of cases as well. As we heard from Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown today, people aren't stealing essential items like food and water in the case of the blizzard, but non-essential items, things that they just appear to want. Here was the mayor's message today. People who are out looting when people are losing their lives in this harsh winter storm, it's just absolutely reprehensible. Uh, I don't know how these people can even live with themselves, how they can look at themselves in the mirror. They are the lowest of, of the low. Yeah, Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gramalia said patrol officers are beginning to shift their duties from blizzard to taking care of these looters and other day-to-day -day operations on the streets of Buffalo. We've also seen a few instances of this elsewhere as well. The town of Tonawanda had an incident this morning that we're still working to get some information on. Arrests are being made in Buffalo, as we heard from the police commissioner, and more are expected to come in the coming days as well. But for now, reporting in Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 3.